Uh, I really loved the script. When it, Victor narrated the script to me, I was really bowled over. And uh, I just fell in love with it right away. And I remember my brother and I were both listening to it together. He helps me in my selection of scripts. Uh, both of us really loved it. And uh, I was also, like Victor said, I was taken aback a little because I, like all of us, we have a certain idea of what Dhoom is, you know. And it. Uh, it lived up to all of those expectations, but it still surprised me. Would probably be the toughest role I've played in my career. Also loved the, both the characters of Ali and Jay when I heard the script. I, I, I've been in love with them since I watched Dhoom 1. Unfortunately, Dhoom 2 I missed out. And so, uh, again in, in Dhoom 3 when I heard the script, I really, really loved both the characters. Well, everything was challenging for me in the role. The physicality was indeed challenging. Um, I'm playing a gymnast, so I had to look a particular way. And then um, circus stuff, I had to learn circus, I had to learn uh, the lot of stunts and you know, action in the film. Uh, so to train for that, and also I had to learn tap dancing. So I got to learn a lot of new things <laughs> because of the film. So yeah, it was physically very challenging also, but I think even as a performer, it's been my most challenging uh, role so far. Actually, for every role, it's equally difficult for me. I don't find any role easy. And uh, each role has its own demands and challenges, and I find every role difficult. But I also enjoy what I do, so the difficulty doesn't uh, throw me off. It, it just is something that I enjoy doing, and it's fun for me. So the more difficult it is, the more fun it is. When I saw Dhoom 1, I just loved Jay and, and Ali. And I don't think that I found them any less interesting than John. I think John did very well as well. But for me, the heroes were Generally. I think uh, I worked with so many actors, but I can say this really confidently that uh, there are two actors who I've observed. One I've not worked with yet, and one I've worked with, that's Katrina. And these two experiences have just blown my mind about how hard a person can work on your role. The other actor is Mr. Bachchan. I was shooting for Kayamat Se Kayamat. It was very early in my career, my film had not released. And in Film City, I was shooting and I had finished the, uh, shooting and I was in the makeup room. And there was some shooting happening outside in the corridor. And I could hear the shot being set up and I could hear the actors rehearsing. Actor is the only one actor whose voice was coming again and again. And there was a long piece of dialogue which this actor was repeating. So I heard it once, I heard it twice, I heard it thrice. And it just went on and on, Abhishek. And I was, it, the, this actor rehearsed it for some 50, 60 times. It became so much that I got up and I told my friends who were sitting with me, Nuzat and Zuchi, I said, who's this actor who's rehearsing this so many times? Yeah, I couldn't, I had to see. So I opened the door and I looked out and I saw Mr. Bachchan. I got a heart attack. I said, my God, look at him. Just see how he's working. You know, he's such a, he's the top star of the country and how he's working towards this. So then I sat and I watched him work. And, and the other person I've worked, seen apply themselves so single-mindedly is Katrina. I was just amazed at the way she's worked on the songs and uh, I was really taken aback. I was really taken aback. I was shooting a song which, which she's dancing and I had to only sit and watch while she's dancing. And it was a really difficult song. And she's been rehearsing for it for a month. We finish shooting every day at 10 o'clock. I go up to do my tap rehearsals. And I've been sitting on a chair all day. She's been dancing all day. And she comes in and rehearses for two hours after that for the next day's shots. So <laughs> I've, I've yet to see that kind of dedication.